Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 with a Fire Emblem review of Good Smile Company's Figma Corin, an action figure of the female player avatar from the Fire Emblem Fates video game series. While Fire Emblem Fates lets you create your own character, Figma Corin is based off of the official female design, and as expected, this figure absolutely nails the look. The complex, asymmetrical costume is accurate to the source material in both molding and coloring. I've always adored Figma's application of layered materials, and here it works so well at defining textures in the clothing. The matte, muted color palette is about perfect, with little signs of poor application. Yet, my favorite aspect to Corrin is just how smooth all the joint cuts have been blended into the figure. Be it color or shaping, they match Corrin's feminine proportions with grace. Even the toe joint doesn't take anything away from her cute feet. Corrin's head sculpt is fantastic too. Her face resembles the animation artwork to a high degree, and the intricately sculpted hair carries a nice flow to it, although I do feel like it could have used some highlights or shading. Corin's secondary face is one of aggression, and I appreciate that the mouth has both depth and teeth. While I don't think that Corin is the most eye-catching Figma to ever be released, that doesn't take away from the fact that she still carries a strong visual quality. This Figma measures in at under 5.5 inches tall. For comparisons, here she is with the real grade Unicorn Gundam, Figma Zero Suit Samus, and her fellow Fire Emblem pal, Figma Lucina. Accessories are about standard with this release. There's the mandatory Figma stand, bag, and hand rack with open palms and gripping hands. Corin's character-specific accessories include a dragon stone, her sword the Yato, and a pair of hands in a claw-like pose. The sword looks great with its gold finish and the handle pops off to assist with the figure's ability to wield it. As for the dragon stone, it's a piece of clear blue plastic. There's no real way for the figure to interact with it, instead you just have to shove it in her hands. Finally, if you purchased Figma Corin directly from Good Smile Company, then also included was the bonus item, the Omega Yato. To put it simply, it's just a fancier version of the regular sword. Looks nice though. For articulation, there's a ball socket head with a hinged neck and a hinge in her hair. There's a torso swivel, ab crunch, and waist swivel. Arms are on extending barbell joints, there's a bicep swivel, hinged elbow, and ball hinge wrists. Her hips are on ball sockets, there's a thigh swivel, hinged knees, swivel hinge ankles, and a toe joint. Her cape is in two pieces, each with a swiveling ball hinge. Corn carries the typical Figma 2.0 body, articulation is good, but don't expect to get any extreme poses out of her. Figma Corrin is what I would describe as being a very safe release for Good Smile Company. As expected, she hits all the Figma standards quite well. Accurate to her source material, there's a decent amount of features, and the build quality is top notch. That said, there's nothing about this release that's truly spectacular. For sure, I have no doubt that Fire Emblem Fates fans will love Figma Corrin, and will have no issue with the $75 retail price. The same can be said for those who simply love Figmas. Still, I wish there were something here that I could point to as being distinctively unique to this release. Well, there isn't, and so while I think the core figure is great, the package as a whole is just mediocre. But that's all from me, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next review.